Hi, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday. I hope it's not too dark. It's really cloudy outside. I have my front door open. That's Bruce. Hopefully he won't make too much noise while I try to film. Uh, this is my cousin. This is A5 from Hobonichi. This is what it looks like now. Almost nine months worth of stuff filled in with photos, drawings, magazine clippings. And let's see, do I have... I do have my brand new one. So if you wanted to see the difference between a brand new cousin and then one that's filled in. And for another comparison, that's Kit Kat. Okay, this is from I think 2019. But you can sort of see the difference, hopefully. Okay, there's Kit Kat's toes. Hopefully you can see the difference though between a chunky one. And then this one is mainly writings and some doodling. Okay, Bruce also has his toy now. Bruce, Bruce. Bruce is our English Bulldog, uh, in case you're new to my channel. And he generally sleeps before I start filming. And then once I start filming, he wakes up. Sometimes I have Kit Kat in here, who is our neighborhood cat. And he comes in, I feed him. I think he belongs to my back neighbor, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's go through this. And I have not done any decoration for September. So this is the monthly layout for September. So I want to put down some washi tape just to finish decorating. But this is the previous months of what I've done. This was for a class that I took. So I marked down the week. I was for a while keeping track of when we get our water delivery. So this would be this current week. Uh, the washi tape is from Daiso. The Mickey Mouse stickers are from Happy Planner. And then these little guys are ones that I created. And I plan either the night before or the mor morning of, of the task that I need to do for that day. This is for last week. Bruce had his doctor's appointment with his cardiologist last week, which is why I have the dog washi tape, and this is something that my sister found, and I think she found it at Daiso. This is the week before. This is from Hobonichi, the washi tape. And then this is almost the beginning of September, which I'm pretty sure I shared. And again, packages are over here. Now let's go to the beginning of September. And I will do a flip through of what I've done. So this is the monthly page. Again, this is Kit Kat, which is right here. This is Bruce, our English Bulldog. So for my currently page, I wrote down what I was doing for the month, what I was reading, which unfortunately I didn't read anything, and then what I was watching. And we uh, did watch a movie called Insidious, The Red Door. Okay, Kit Kat. Okay, hopefully you won't mind the cat. Uh, this is a photo of two avocado, two avocado seedling trees that I started from two different pits. And this is what they look like now. They are less than a year old. So they're about, right now, God, they're probably, maybe, they're probably about four feet tall, maybe almost five. They're almost, this, they're getting there. Uh, nice little trees. There's Bruce. Uh, he was with my husband in bed and I just thought he looked really cute because he was smiling so like that this is a um first nurse what are you eating this is um a Hawaiian place that we found in Monrovia that we decided to try the food was really good good value for your money because you get a lot of food this is the first time Bruce saw a squirrel. And uh, the photos I printed out, I have a Canon selfie. I think it's the 1300 series. I purchased, I wanna say in 2015. It's been a, a number of years. And I like the photo quality. I like the size of photos that I can choose. On this day, I decided to plant some milkweed seeds or seedlings that I started from seed. They are native milkweeds to attract the monarch butterflies. 
so they can lay their eggs and then the caterpillars can eat. So hopefully these will be bigger next year. There's Bruce. Okay, okay. I, gotta, I gotta flip the page. So here's a magazine cutout of an image. Okay, Kit Kat's in the way, sorry. That I liked, so I did it like that. Here are some quotes. I still need to find something to put right there. This is my niece and her boyfriend, my nephew. Uh, the thin washi tape are from Amazon. Okay, you guys. All right, come on, give me that. So that's Bruce, he was chewing on, humble if you're watching, he was chewing on the uh, gingerbread house. I can't tell, did he rip off the leg? No. Okay, that's good. Picture of a bacon sandwich. No, no, we're done with this. No, no, Bruce, leave that alone. No, Bruce. This is my brother-in-law. He was writing for the Bruce. It's called the Great Cycle Challenge. And for the month of September, he will ride his bike to raise money for children's cancer. And so I uh, shared his link on Instagram and it's a worthy cause. And so we made a donation and I thought I would put his photo on my page. This day on the 13th was the double down day. So if you made a donation on that day, the uh, great cycle challenge, they would match it. So that was awesome. These are about bees. Did you know that bees live less than 40 days? They visit at least a thousand flowers and produce less than a teaspoon of honey. For us, it is only a teaspoon of honey, but for the bee, it is a life. And I have a lot of sunflowers in the back that the birds deposited. Sunflowers seem to attract a lot of bees there. And so I just thought this was really appropriate. And I found honey in a magazine. This is Finn. This is Humble Chan's dog. If you uh, follow her YouTube channel, she hasn't uploaded anything in a few years, but I think she's gonna get back into uploading videos again. But I follow her on Instagram, and so I printed out uh, photos of Finn and to put on my page. Now this is a layout that I decided to try that I want to use in my A5 Hun, a box of chicken. It's called Pioneer Chicken here in Southern California. There's only two that I can think of. So we went and picked up some chicken to share with my sister. This is really, really good. This is a selfie of me, Bruce, and my husband at his cardiologist on Monday. So obviously I covered myself and my husband, but there's Bruce right there in between us. And he had his appointment with the cardiologist. He sees this cardiologist once a year now. And thankfully the results were really good. And we don't take him inside because he gets really excited when he sees other dogs or other people. Uh, so we stay inside the car, then the uh, tech and the vet comes out and then they take him in through the back door. There's Kit Kat again, oh no. Kit Kat, come on. Uh, and then afterwards we stopped at Blaze Pizza. Let me know what you think of Blaze Pizza. I, uh, yeah, so I'll just leave it at that. We ordered a pizza and got a small salad. It was the first time we ever tried it. Okay, and this is my funny doodle of, so that's me on Tuesday and Wednesday. We have what's called a weaved, is it called a weaver? It's an orb weaver spider. Okay, now you can't see it, but it's by the front door. It's really big. It has a really strong web and I've walked into it more than one time. And uh, so now it lives kind of on the side door, which is... Kit Kat. I gotta share this. So it looks like that. So this is supposed to be our house right here. And then as you're walking down the uh, walkway, right? And then you would turn to go into the house. The spider has built a very big, strong web right there. And then since I've kept running into it. Okay, hang on. Sorry. Eek. Kit Kat. Since I've kept walking into the web every day, he kind of, or she, kind of moved it over to the side. And so now when I sit on the couch and look out the front door, 
so it's actually over there <laughs> um okay the sp you can see the spider he's really big okay there's bruce too now okay you guys come on let's go come on over there everybody over there so this is my interpretation of the spider. Now he's really not that big and it's it's a beautiful orangey red color. It's got black stripes on its leg. Um, so this is my interpretation of the spider web and that spider. This is a magazine cutout. Here's another magazine cutout with a quote. This is a praying mantis I found out back. This is a dragon fruit. Um, that I'm growing for my mom. I've never had a dragon fruit before, but I am growing them for my mom. And so this year I got some tips on how to try to make it sweeter. And so I'm gonna see if it works. I'm actually interested in her trying. Bruce, Bruce, in her trying. Is it getting dark? It's really dark. Bruce, come on. Oh no, oh my goodness, sorry. Okay, guys. Bruce, go on. Sorry here about that. This is a picture of my curly spider plant. She has gone straight. So that's that picture. And I couldn't figure out why, and somebody suggested that I try giving it more water and kind of keep the soil damp. And hopefully that will help regain the curliness in the spider plant. It is a bonny curly spider plant. But we'll see if that works. That's why I took the picture. Because right now it looks pretty straight. And I'm hoping in a few weeks uh, the leaves will curl back up. Here is a picture of a girl and a dog. Which I thought was really cute. That's an orchid. I've had this plant now for years. Like in the 1990s. It first bloomed for me in 2021. So this is the 2021, 22, 23. So this is the third year that it's bloomed for me. Oh, this is a picture from the Cedric Wildlife Trust. It's a picture of a wild bull elephant with a keeper. The keeper's name is Stephen. And he says that these wild bulls recognize his face and they recognize him as a friend. So if I can, I'm going to insert the picture of what I drew. So you can see the difference between the real photo and my drawing. So let me insert that here. Now, if I did that correctly, you can see what the real photo looks like. And my drawing, I had a problem with the body perspective wise. It doesn't look right. And also you'll notice that he should be down here somewhere. So he's actually a very big bull elephant. So I'm still working on the perspective. I'm still learning, I guess, the proportions. But I think it came out pretty nice, which is why I kept it the way I did. Because I sort of liked, I feel like I've captured the elephant as well as the bull, as well as him. Um, but the, I don't know, the angling, the placement was slightly off. Uh, which is why I wanted to show you the real photo. I will link their website down below as well as their Facebook page. I think they have a YouTube ch channel too. So if they do, I will link that down below. But they are an organization in Kenya. They have their permission to uh, draw their um, pictures into my journal. Here's Bruce with one of his favorite toys. It is a red fox. And that is it. Today's the 29th. So that is a flip through of my cousin, as well as entertainment and visits from Bruce, the English Bulldog, as well as Kit Kat, the neighborhood cat. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you like to see after the pin videos of my Hobonichi. Have a good weekend, and I will see you guys later. Bye.